Hi everyone, this is Lyle from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. In this video, we're going to be talking about looking at the moon and keeping a journal. The moon is the largest and brightest object in the night sky. Sometimes you can even see it in the daytime. If you look at it for a long period of time, you might notice patterns in its phases and its location. A moon journal is a great way to see those patterns and even predict the next phase. To get started, print out this blank calendar to use as your journal. A link at the end of this video will bring you to a site with a file for downloading. If you don't have a printer, you can use a blank piece of paper to write your journal down on. You can start on any day of the month. If you start in the second half of the month, it might be a good idea to write down the current month and the next month for your records. Record the date and time of your first observation. When you observe the moon, draw it as you see it in the sky. Don't worry if it's not a masterpiece ready to hang up in a museum. Just try to do your best to get the shape of the lit up part of the moon. Do the same thing for at least 30 days. If you can't see the moon one day, leave that day blank and fill it in later. After 30 days, what patterns do you see? Use the patterns to predict what the moon would have looked like on the days you didn't see it. Draw in the moon for any days that are blank in your journal. Once you're done observing for the 30 days and filling in any blank days, check that your drawings progress in the same order as this animation. They might not start on the same phase, but make sure they follow the same pattern. Once you're familiar with the phases of the moon, you can build this moon phase calendar and calculator so you'll know when and where to look in the sky for every phase of the moon this year. Go here for materials, step-by-step -step instructions, and a link to the moon calendar and calculator, or click the link in the video description.